Beechwood Hall is an antebellum home near Franklin, Tennessee, right outside Nashville. It's one of the few buildings of its size to survive the Civil War. It's a National Historic Landmark. In the 1950s, country music legend Hank Williams bought Beechwood Hall. More recently, country music stars Faith Hill and Tim McGraw lived there. Last year, a fund manager from California called Larry Keel bought the property. Now, according to neighbors, the property is in complete disrepair, as you can see. And a nonprofit that oversees historic preservation called the Heritage Foundation of Williamson County is suggesting that Beechwood Hall could soon be demolished. Keel, and we're not alleging anything here, just noting, happens to be a major donor to that nonprofit. So the question is, how much American history do you have to lose before you lose the country itself? In the last two years, we've lost statues and monuments and our customs. So tearing down Hank Williams' house, an antebellum house, would constitute not just an assault on the soul of country music, a distinctly American art form, it would be an attack on the country itself. And maybe we've had enough, maybe no more. Kid Rock appears to feel that way. He is, of course, a country music legend, lives in Nashville, joins us tonight. Kid Rock, thanks so much for coming on. So you have Thank your you. own house. Why are you interested in this house and what happens to it? I think like so many other people in this country, we're sick of seeing history tore to the ground, whether yeah. it be in the form of monuments, statues, and now something so important here in Nashville, like the former home of Hank Williams, Beechwood Hall. Well, I also might note it was also the former home of uh, Tim McGraw and Faith Hill. Um, you know, where does this end? We kind of all knew that from the beginning once this fiasco started, that it was never going to end. And, and now we kind of feel like we're under an invasion from the uh, state of California, which we understand in a lot of ways. I have a lot of friends here that come from these spots, California, New York City. Um, and this is kind of a house because, you know, we feel that a lot of people say it and they say it under their breath, but they're scared to say it out loud. So once again, I'll be the guy. Is, you know, they come here leaving these woke policies from these cities, you know, for better schools, lower taxes, lower crime. We've talked about that you've talked about a million times. And uh, we kind of tell them, leave your effing politics at the state. This is what you're coming and this is just one more example of somebody from California who, as I understood, gave a handshake and to people in the community and through this foundation that he's a donor for. And now he basically is, seems like another avenue to tear it down. And I don't think there's anything more important in country music, if not American music, than Hank Williams. Yeah. Book, the greatest songwriter of all times. And I think great songwriters would be in agreement. So can I just ask, I mean, we don't know the motive and we don't have this man on the show tonight, but why would you move to a new place and then want to tear down its history? Doesn't that seem kind of a weird thing to do? Yeah, we call them dumb liberals. Yeah. Well, that's, that's one explanation. So Hank Williams, th this is... <laughs> I think that's fair. That's fair. Um, that says it all. So this Hank Williams is is if there's an icon in Nashville, it's Hank Williams. OK, so there's, is Nashville as a, right. Exactly. And this was his former property. So as a community, are, is Nashville rising up against this to preserve this historic property? Are you the only one? I think, uh, well, I'm kind of, you know, thanks to you and uh and people that care about these things, I've just kind of become the person to put it out there. So I don't. I think now that the, now that it, you're, you're broadcasting the story to uh, all of America, I think there's going to be many, many people to get on board. They can go to SaveBeachwood.org. And I think you're going to see a lot more uh, country music stars, musicians, just uh, great people in the community that want to preserve this for yeah. the next generation to come, generations beyond that. Well, exactly. I mean, we both believe in private property, of course, and defend it. But there are some monuments yeah. that aren't really yours. You're their custodian. You know, you hold them till the till the next generation comes. And this sounds like one of them. I appreciate it. Kid and Rock. When you say when you come in, when you come into it with a handshake kind of thing and say, I'm going to preserve this. And then you start weaseling around to do other things. You know, we hope to get this resolved and, you know, in, in a good manner. But if not, we can we can get some hillbilly going on, too. Well, I'll leave that to you to solve. But thank you for bringing this to our attention. The country's lost so much <laughs> of its history. How about no more? Great to see you, Kid Rock. We've got a documentary on that man called Life of a Rockstar, Kid Rock. It's on Fox Nation. Subscribe to the Fox News YouTube channel to catch our nightly opens, stories that are changing the world and changing your life. I'm Tucker Carlson tonight.